In this lesson, you will learn how to pass information from your controller class to the view using Spring MVC model object. Model is an object that you can use to pass attributes from controller to the view. And to make model object available to a method in your controller class, you will simply inject model object as an argument to a method. So here in this controller class, I have a method that is called homepage. And to make model object available to this method, I will simply inject it as a method argument. Let's import model. Now that I have injected model into my method, I can start adding attributes to it. For example, let's assume that we need to pass user's first name and last name from controller to the view. And to do that, I will use model object and then I will call add attribute method that takes two parameters. First is an attribute name, like for example, first name. And the second is a value, which is for example, Sergey in my case. So in the view, I will be able to access value Sergey by reading it with a key first name. I'll show you how to do it in a few seconds. To add another attribute, I can simply use method chaining and continue on the same line and call add attributes again, or I can put it on a new line and use model to add attribute. All right. So the second attribute that I will add will be last name. And the value in my case is going to be Kargapolov like this. Now I can display user's first name and last name in the view. In this little project, I have a single view that is called home HTML and it uses time leave templates. I can access and display attributes from the model object this way. Inside of the double quotes, I will use single quotes to add a static text, like for example, hello, then space. Outside of single quotes, I will use plus sign to concatenate a value. And then I will use dollar sign. And inside of curly brackets, I will use a key under which this property is stored. So the value Sergey is stored under key first name. So I will use first name inside of the curly brackets to access the value Sergey. We can continue and display last name as well. I will add space in single quotes like this. And after space, I will add last name like this. Now let's save this and we can run this application and see how it works. I will bring in terminal window and to run Spring Boot application with Maven, I can use Maven Spring dash boot colon run and hit enter. Now that my application is running on port 8080, I can start a new browser window and I can try accessing it. Localhost port number 8080, enter. And here's an output. Hello, Sergey Kargapov. All right, so it is working well for us. Now let's continue. And in the following lesson, we will look at another way to pass attributes from controller to the view. And this time we will use another object that is called model map.